Hello friends, welcome to Nigira Techies. This is our React JS Redux tutorial part 5. And in this video, let's talk about hooks in React Redux. And if you are familiar with an React application, you know what is hooks. Basically, it is kind of function that has the ability to access our local state. The similar way, in our React Redux, we have two hooks. The first one is use selector and another one is the use dispatching. So basically, it is the kind of alternative option for our connect functionality. So in my last videos, we have seen what, what is action and action creator, reducer, store. So using this connect function, we, we have completed the functionality of online product purchasing. So we can consider the same application. So instead of using this connect option, I am going to use this use selector and the use dispatch hooks. We can complete the same functionality. So let me go to my application. Okay, currently I'm having this product container component. So instead of that, I'm going to create one more new component. Okay. We can use this SFC stateless functional component. So here I'm going to have one H1 tag hooks example. Okay. Let me save this one. And then in our app component, after our product container, I'm going to call this product component also. Okay. Okay. See, so these all are coming from our product container component. The same thing we can use in our product component also okay so let me copy this html section so instead of two items i'm going to take one of the product okay and we can remove these props because in this component i'm not going to use these props so let me save this one and this text also let me change that's it okay here first i am going to load this available cricket bat okay for that i am going to use this use selector hook so it is almost similar to our function of map state true props okay so let me implement in our product.js First, we have to import it. Use selector, okay. So next in our component, I'm going to use this use selector. So here we can access our state. And in this state, we can get our number of available products. So let me check from my product container. Okay. Using the same way, we have to access it because in our store, I have added our reducer. So in this bat object, that's what we are accessing like this state dot bat. So then our value name. Okay. Okay. This is fine. Let me save this one. So basically it will return on value. So let me take this it from one of the variable And then I am going to bind it here. Okay You can save this one see the output now So first two items are loading from our product container. So here it is loaded from our product component. Okay so here also it is showing the initial available quantity. So if I'm clicking this buy bat, uh, there is no action happened because we are not yet implemented. But at the same time here we have implemented, okay? So if I'm clicking see, because both the components, we are getting the same state value. So that's what it is simply changing, okay? So now what I'm going to do, let me implement this buy bat. So for this one, I'm going to use this use dispatch hook. So this one also almost similar to map dispatch to props function. Okay. 
So the steps are almost the same only. First we have to import it here. Use dispatch. And then we have to declare one variable. And our hook, okay. And here we can include the callback function. So inside that we can use our dispatch. And here I'm going to call our action creator. So let me get our action creator here, make order, okay. And also we need to import this one. And it is having one parameter also. So parameter is nothing but our action type. So here it is by bat. So let me save this one. So see, so if I'm clicking by bat also, it is affected. So in case, instead of this by bat, if I'm giving by pad, then so if i'm clicking here the state will be changing so you got it right so if you comparing these two components so in our product container so i have written two function the first two function basically takes the input as our state and it is returning the values kind of object okay and the second function it is taking the input of dispatch and it is returning the function so finally using this connect function we have included both the function in our component okay so the similar way for the replacement of this connect and replacement of this connector we have comes up with an hooks option and instead of two, these two functions we have the two hooks the first one is use selector and another one is the use dispatch so we have implemented the same functionality it is working fine so now we are almost in the end of the video still if you have any doubts or clarification please post in the comment box and also please don't forget to subscribe my channel so in my next video i'm going to cover asynchronous actions and also how to call the apa from our react redux okay thank you thanks for watching